The Supreme Court's conservative majority just ruled that the right to bear arms in public is covered by the Second Amendment. This means that it could soon be much easier to carry a handgun on the streets of New York or Los Angeles. In a famous 2008 case, District of Columbia v. Heller, the court ruled that the Second Amendment protects people's right to have guns in their homes, but that actually didn't make a huge impact in practice because most gun control laws regulated guns outside people's homes. Take New York's current law. Anyone who wants to carry a concealed handgun outside their home has to apply for a license and show, essentially, that they have a good reason to have one. And local officials have a lot of discretion to decide what's a good reason and what isn't. In this case, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association versus Bruin, a gun rights advocacy group and two individual gun owners challenged New York's law. The two gun owners had applied for licenses and been denied. They said that violated their Second Amendment right to bear arms. The court agreed. In the ruling, which all six of the court's Republican appointees signed on to, Justice Clarence Thomas wrote that the Constitution protects an individual's right to carry a handgun for self-defense outside the home. Requiring people to prove that they have a good reason does indeed violate the Constitution. But the ruling has limits. In a separate opinion, Justice Brett Kavanaugh clarified that states still have power to regulate guns, just not with New York's level of scrutiny. Five other states in Washington, D.C. have laws similar to New York's, but the 43 states that have more lenient licensing requirements for carrying a handgun in public are still okay, according to Kavanaugh. So basically, this ruling sets the stage for more fighting over which gun regulations are constitutional and which aren't but it will also have an immediate impact. About one quarter of Americans live in states with laws like New York's because those states are among the most populous in the country, and it will now be easier to carry a gun in public there. Americans are really concerned about gun violence right now. So what will they think of the ruling? Well, that's a little hard to say. Just before the mass shooting at an elementary school in Uvalde, Texas in May, a Marquette University Law School poll found that among Americans who knew enough about the case to have an opinion, a majority were in favor of the Supreme Court ruling that the Second Amendment protects a right to carry guns outside the home. But a June poll conducted after the shooting by YouGov and The Economist found that a majority of Americans wanted states to be able to at least restrict carrying guns outside the home. Nevertheless, close to half of the Republicans polled wanted no restrictions. So this ruling won't be unpopular with everyone, but it's a turning point in our national conversation about guns. It's a massive expansion of the Second Amendment at a time when more than half of Americans want more restrictions, not less.